Hi everyone, Roy again with Worldwide Farrier Supply for Glue You and Glue Shoe. We're going to show you today the use of the dental impression material. This is the blue version, which is the Shore A15. And we have a horse here that had a coffin bone infection. So he went to the hospital, got surgery, got the, the bone cleaned out. And now we need to offer him a little support underneath the hospital plate. So we're going to go and mix half and half equal amounts of the blue and the white and then we're going to pack it in and before it hardens we're going to fasten the hospital plate so it's a completely flat surface it doesn't have any high spots or any points of pressure and he should be good to go okay so we got our product right here we already cleaned the foot and i just want to show you real quick what we're talking about we had some copper sulfate packed and um you can see where the surgery was done and now we're gonna fill this area and give him support underneath the hospital plate that is gonna be bolted on right after. So we're gonna get here to mixing both parts and I'm gonna grab a handful of white and I'm gonna grab a handful of blue. And we have, it doesn't have to be exact, but uh, equal amounts just about and then we're gonna work it until we have a, a uniform color and today is a cooler day so we have plenty of time to work with it in a really hot day in the summer if you the more you work it the faster it'll start heating up because of the heat in your hands and the heat and the temperature in the day but uh today is 47 48 degrees so we have time and you see now we have a uniform color. We don't have streaks of white or streaks of blue. And we are ready to pack it onto the foot. And we're gonna pack it. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna let it be a little higher than the rim of the shoe. So when I put the hospital plate and um, he applies pressure, it'll all flatten out at the same level. We make sure that we fill the, the back side that is even. Right, the other thing that is important to take a look at, you see how the product has pushed out through the incision site. So after it's still soft and malleable right now but once it's done setting and curing i'm going to remove the hospital plate and trim off the dental impression material support pad away from the incision site so there's no pressure on the incision site 